beauties welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing this makeup look right here using all the products that you guys selected over on my instagram i want to provide more interactive content here on my channel and in order for me to do that i need your guys's help so make sure you're not only subscribed to my channel but also following me on my socials and with that we are just going to get started with today's video so grab your popcorn grab your snack grab your makeup brushes whatever it is and let's get started i did already do my brows and prime my lids because i only have one product for each of those things so it kind of made no sense at all for you guys to choose because you wouldn't have anything to choose from so we are going to start with eyeshadow i gave you guys two options of course the first one was the sassy sienna's palette from dose of colors and it's just very orange and honestly very fall but I chose this one or it was the Fenty Beauty number no. 7 palette. This is in Cadet. I haven't really played with this palette much. So I was kind of excited when I saw that you guys chose this one over the Sassy Sienna's one. Because I kind of created a full eyeshadow look using that palette already. So we're going to use this one today. So I think the first shade that I'm going to grab is this salmon kind of color right here. They actually have names. It's called Take Cover. So I'm gonna grab this shadow and I'm just gonna put this in my crease as my transition shade. And I will build it up just a little bit, not too much. There is a little bit of pigment with this shadow. It's not like an intense shadow or anything. It's definitely more of like a bone colored shadow for my skin tone. So it'll just help in the long run, just kind of blend the rest of the shadows. So I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of like this green shadow right here. And that one is called uh, Fatigue. <laughs> that's really cute, the way that it's spelled. And it's P-H, what is it? P-H-A-T-I-G-U-E, Fatigue, cute. And I'm going to put this on my outer and inner corner, but I'm also going to kind of connect it in the crease, if that makes sense. This shadow definitely has way more pigment than the other one that we used. Not too much. It's still light enough to where like you can build it up to the intensity that you want. And it's not going to be like too harsh right off bat. So I do like that. Normally for this step in my inner corner, I would go in with a smaller brush. But since I'm going to be putting this shadow in my crease as well, I'm just going to go ahead and use this same brush to do it. I do want to take a little bit of this yellow mustard shade in here, which is called She Salute. And I want to use this shadow to just help me blend the green a little bit. I mean, I probably should have used this shadow before if I like really wanted to see the pigmentation of it. Actually, you can kind of see it. Wow. It's very mustardy. It's a nice yellow. So I'm just gonna take it lightly just to help me blend the, you know, like outer perimeter of that green shadow. So there are two shimmer shades that I can choose from. There's this one right here, and then there's this yellow kind of green toned shimmer as well. I'm not really sure which one. It's like, okay, if I go with this one, it's kind of like playing it safe. And then going in with this one is obviously not playing it safe. A part of me wants to play it safe, but uh, let's go ahead and use this one right here. And that one is actually called Money Mission. I like the names of these shadows. And I'm gonna just take it on a flat brush. I'm not gonna spray my brush down because I wanna see how the shadow performs without doing so. And I'm just gonna pack it right here in the center of my lid. Yeah, that's really pretty. Now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the yellow again, just to make sure that the outer area is nice and blended. So I'm just gonna take that very, very lightly around this outer part. I am going to stop on the eyeshadow for now, obviously until the base makeup is done so we can work on the bottom lash line. I did have you guys select lashes, but I'm not gonna put those on just yet. I do love this palette. If you guys didn't know, I originally selected this one when I went to Sephora and bought her snap shadows because of the yellow. 
However, I do love this palette as a whole after creating this look. I think it's just a gorgeous palette. This shadow up here, the first one that I used called Take Cover, I think will be great as a transition shade, especially if you are my skin tone or lighter, maybe a little darker, but not too dark. And then um, that green shadow is beautiful. I love green. I've been into green lately between green and yellow. I think last year was more like a yellow phase I was going through. Right now, I think I'm going through like a green eyeshadow phase, but I didn't select this palette. It's all your guys' fault. You guys selected it, but I love it. And I think any of her snap shadows would be a good like investment or purchase for you guys to make. I believe they're like $25 on Sephora. So you can just go to sephora.com and order your palette because these are bomb. Now for primer, you guys know I love to double prime. Essentially, I gave you guys four different options, but obviously two and two. And apparently you guys could not decide. There wasn't one person who was a tiebreaker for this. It came out 50-50. So I gave you guys the option of the Tatcha and the Farsali combo or the e.l.f. combo, which is the Jelly Pop Dew Primer in their, um, this is their Poreless Putty Primer. But you guys couldn't decide on what to do, so now I have to figure out what to do. And I think what's best, since it's 50-50, I'll do one of each. So I think out of these two, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. And then out of the Farsali and the Tatcha, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Tatcha. I really wanted to use the Farsali, but I really do like these two together. This one, again, is very similar to the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This just has skincare benefits in it, and this one doesn't. So we're gonna pop the Jelly Pop Primer on first. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my hands, and then just rub this on my face. Now that we have that laid, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Tatcha, and I'm just gonna focus this primer in like my T-zone and where my pores are. When it comes to my nose area, I like to just like really rub it right in here because I really want to press it into those pores. For foundation, I really thought I was going to be trying a new foundation and I was kind of excited about it, especially because it was a drugstore, but you guys chose to go with the high-end option, which surprised me completely. But I gave you guys the option of the e.l.f. foundation, which I've never tried before. It's not new, but I never tried it or my Holy Grail NARS foundation. And of course you guys chose the NARS. It was 83% to 17%. So majority definitely wanted the NARS. I am, for those of you guys who don't know, going to combine these two shades to kind of make my custom match. And they are Syracuse and Stromboli. So I'm gonna put both of these on and then I'm gonna just blend it out with my sponge. Now that that's all blended, we're gonna go in with concealer. This again is a product that I thought you guys were gonna choose drugstore on and you guys chose high end. It was between the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer, which I have not used before, and this Vanish Stick from Hourglass or Vanish Concealer, I should say. The Vanish Stick is their foundation. This is the concealer and it's in the shade Fawn. And I'm just gonna use this to highlight the high points of my face as I always do. I'm gonna try to be kind of light-handed with this just because it is a much brighter shade. And I forgot to tell you guys to select a cream contour. So we're gonna go light today. Since we don't have any more cream products to apply, we're now gonna set our face. And I gave you guys two different options, either the Airspun Loose Setting Powder or the Huda Beauty one, which I do use pretty often on my channel, but you guys chose the Airspun. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. I'm kind of excited to use this because I haven't used it in so long, whether it be on camera or off camera. It's been 
a long time. So I'm kind of interested to see if I still like this powder or not. But I do remember it being a very good like drugstore go-to powder. So let's just see if we still love it. So I'm just going to tap this underneath my eyes as I always do. I'm not going to bake. Just going to press. The one I have is in the shade Extra Translucent. But it kind of has like this pinkish peach kind of tint to it, which I do kind of like. Definitely helping to make the concealer like an under eye area even more bright, which I do like as well. Definitely like this powder a lot more than the yellow powder. Now let's talk about bronzer. So I gave you guys the option of the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, which is a fave of mine. And then also the Physicians Formula One, the single um, compartment that I have in my collection. I believe in maybe the last video or maybe that video will go up after this one, but I do say that there is a Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer that I own that I don't know the shade of or didn't know by heart. And I'm just now realizing this right here is the same shade as the one in the collaboration with Whaley that I love, the Sunset Bronzer. This is also in Sunset Bronzer. So that's this one that you guys chose. I could easily just pull out that palette and use that bronzer in there, but this is what I showed on my Instagram. So this one is the one I'm going to use. I am gonna use my Real Techniques 201 brush to bronze up my face today. I kind of feel like this one though in this little thing is somewhat different from the one that comes in the palette. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I I really feel that way. This one is strong. All right, now we can move on. We're going to apply our blush and everybody, not one person wanted me to use the Hourglass Ambient Blush. So we're gonna go ahead and use this Sephora palette. I think you guys selected this one because it has like a variation of shades and I don't know, I just feel like that's what you guys preferred. Um, and then I could kind of just see what would best match the look that I created. So I like that as well. I am going to take this one over here. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but I don't mind a little bit of shimmer because it just helps with the glow. So before we finish off with the face completely, we only have a few more products, I believe like three, four more products to go. But before we do that, I want to finish off the lower lash line and apply my lashes. So basically what I'm going to do is just take the same two shades that we used at the top, the salmon colored one and the green one and smudge those on my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take the opposite side of this brush, take a little bit of the yellow, and just use that on the bottom lash line just to help smoke all of this out a little bit more and brighten it up just a little bit. For my waterline, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Physicians Formula Liner. This is their Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Eyeliner, and the shade is Smoky Nude Eyes. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and pop this in here. It's like a gold, so it'll definitely help with the pop of the middle color of our lid. So now that the liner is down, I am gonna apply bottom lash mascara as well as apply my lashes, but let me let you guys know what lashes you guys selected. So I gave you the option of the Lily Lashes in the style Miami or the Unscripted Beauty Lashes in the style Level Up, and 60% wanted the Unscripted Beauty, so those are the ones I'm gonna use today. So these ones in Level Up, I've worn them plenty of times on my channel. They're pretty. They're voluminous. They're a bit dramatic, but not as dramatic as other lashes. I'm gonna apply these really quickly and then we can finish off the rest of the face. Now that our lashes are on, we can set our face with a little bit of setting mist. And I gave you guys the option of the Dewy Set from ABH or the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. 
and you guys wanted the Morphe. I know that Morphe now has a matte one and I really want to try it, but we're going to use this one because obviously this is the one you guys chose to set our face really quickly and then we can apply our highlight. So I'm just going to miss this. For highlighter, there were two options. The ColourPop highlighter, the big one in the pan that smells so good or the NARS highlight and you guys chose the NARS highlight. It was actually 80% that wanted NARS. So we're gonna go ahead and use this beauty. I am using a kind of like, well, this is called a powder contour brush, but I'm using it for highlight because I like it to be diffused. If you guys remember, we used the blush with a little bit of shimmer in it. So this is just helping to kind of like intensify the glow that we kind of already have on our face. I'm gonna pop this in my inner corners just a little bit to make them pop. And also gonna take a little bit on my brow bone as well. So the only thing we have left to do now is our lip and I gave you guys the option of a gloss, which was from Sephora, or a lipstick, which is the NARS lipstick. Now, I do not know how to say the shade name of this, but I will have all the products I used in today's video down in the description box down below, as well as their shade names and all of that good stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. Because you guys chose a lipstick, I didn't give you guys a choice to use a lip liner or not, because, I mean, I really didn't want liner with gloss. But I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of the ColourPop BFF Lippy Pencil. All right, you guys, so this here is the finished and final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys picked out all of these products and I'm actually happy with the way that everything turned out, including that powder. I'm so happy you guys chose that powder because I really wanted to use it just to see if I still love it. And honestly, I think I still do. I love the fact that you guys are engaging in the content that I'm providing here on my channel. It just it's something about it. It just brings me extra joy and thank you to everyone who participated. If you guys didn't get the chance to participate in today's video, definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can stay up to date with the latest and you guys can be a part of the next video. I don't have anything else to say other than I love you guys so much. I hope you're staying safe and I will see you guys super, super soon in the next video or vlog, whichever one comes first.